Hi, in uh, this video tutorial we can see a uh, chain of responsibility design pattern implementation. Before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch the chain of responsibility design pattern introduction, chain of responsibility design pattern class diagram and sequence diagram video tutorials. Then come and watch uh, this implementation video tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Uh, so in this tutorial we will see uh, how we can use one or more receivers in the chain handles the request okay and right side you can see 100 rupees handler 50 rupees handler 20 rupees handler and 5 rupees handler this 100 rupees handler is uh, used to dispatch 100 rupees notes and this 50 rupees handler is used to dispatch 50 rupees notes and this uh, 20 rupees handler used to dispatch 20 rupees notes and this 5 rupees handler used to dispatch 5 rupees notes and here you can see ATM ATM will uh, use this handless so you can see arrow here and uh, left side you can see John he is a person uh, suppose say uh, John wants to withdraw 455 rupees from the ATM so he goes to the ATM and insert his uh, debit card then uh, ATM will ask his uh, pin number so he will enter the pin number if uh, pin number is ok uh, then uh, uh, John has to enter the money he wants to withdraw that is 455 rupees then uh, he will say ok so the withdraw request will go to the 100 rupees handler first this 100 rupees handler will uh, do some calculation and uh, requested amount is 455 right so it will uh, dispatch 400 rupees notes ok then uh, remaining 55 rupees is there so it will uh, send the 55 uh, rupees to the next handler so this 50 rupees handler will do the calculation and it will dispatch 150 rupees note ok then remaining 5 rupees is there right so this 50 rupees handler will send request to the 20 rupees handler so 5 rupees it cannot dispatch right this 20 rupees handler cannot dispatch so it will uh, send a request to the next handler which is 5 rupees handler so finally this 5 rupees handler will dispatch one 5 rupees notes uh, so total 455 uh, rupees will be dispatched so this is the example of one or more receivers in the chain handles a request uh, we can see the class diagram uh, how we can achieve this uh, scenario okay so here you can see rupees handler this is the abstract class and it has uh, two method first one is uh, next handler another one is uh, dispatch rupees this dispatch rupees method is the abstract method and uh, here we have seen 100 rupees handler 50 rupees handler 20 rupees handler and 5 rupees handler right so here uh, we have uh, corresponding classes 100 rupees handler 50 rupees handler 20 rupees handler 5 rupees handler this is the subclass of this rupees handler okay so this all handler will uh, implement this dispatch uh, rupees method okay you can see dispatch rupees basically it will do some calculation and dispatch uh, the amount this 100 rupees handler will dispatch 100 rupees notes 50 rupees handler will dispatch uh, 50 rupees notes and uh, 20 rupees handler will dispatch 20 rupees notes and uh, 5 rupees handler will dispatch 5 rupees note okay and you can see next handler method right so like i explained once 100 rupees uh, handler process the request then it will send it to the 50 rupees handler and 50 rupees handler process the request it will send it to the 20 rupees handler so once uh, 20 rupees handler process the request it will send request to the 5 rupees uh, handler right so for 100 rupees handler next handler is 50 rupees handler for 50 rupees handler next handler is 20 rupees handler for 20 rupees handler next handler is 5 rupees handler to set uh, this chain we can use this next handler method okay and uh, left side you can see atm and it has a withdraw method so once uh, withdraw method is called it will uh, call the first uh, handler in the chain okay which is 100 rupees handler and a chain of uh, responsibility demo it is nothing but a client code which will uh, call ATM withdraw method okay so this is about a class diagram of uh, a sample code which we are going to see I will open Eclipse and uh, show you this uh, code okay so here a rupees handler and different kind of handlers are there right I will open all those and explain in Eclipse Uh, first I will open uh, rshandler.java so this rshandler class is abstract class 
it has uh, one abstract method called dispatch rupees and uh, this abstract method will be implemented by the subclasses and uh, here you can see next handler okay so we have seen the chain right for 100 rupees handler next handler is uh, 50 rupees handler for 50 rupees handler next handler is uh, 20 rupees handler and for 20 rupees handler next handler is 5 rupees handler so if you want to set up that kind of chain we can use uh, this method okay and i will open 100 rupees handler so 100 rupees handler extend uh, rupees handler and provide implementation of uh, dispatch rupees method uh, so here it does some calculation and dispatch 100 rupees and for the particular uh, request if uh, further processing is needed then it will call the next handler dispatch rupees method okay uh, then uh, i will open the 50 rupees handler it uh, extends uh, rupees handler and it provide implementation of uh, dispatch rupees method it does some calculation and it dispatch uh, 50 rupees and uh, if uh, further processing is needed for the request it will call the next handler uh, dispatch rupees method okay and uh, next i will open uh, 20 rupees handler and uh, which extends uh, rs handler provide implementation of uh, dispatch rupees method it does some calculation and uh, it dispatch 20 rupees notes and uh, if uh, further processing is needed then it will call the next handler uh, dispatch uh, rupees method okay and i will open uh, 5 rupees handler and uh, 5 rupees handler which extends uh, uh, rupees handler and provide implementation of uh, dispatch rupees method it does some calculation and it will dispatch uh, 5 rupees and if further processing is needed it will call next uh, handler dispatch rupees method okay and uh, then i will open atm.java so here uh, we are preparing the chain for 100 rupees handler what is the next handler that is 50 rupees handler for 50 rupees handler what is the next handler that is 20 rupees handler for 20 rupees handler what is the next handler which is uh, 5 rupees handler okay so then uh, we have uh, withdraw method in this uh, atm uh, class uh, so here you have to pass the uh, amount and uh, this method will call the dispatch rupees of the first handler which is in the chain which is under rupees handler okay and i will open the client class which is chain of uh, responsibility demo dot java so we are uh, we are creating a atm object then we are trying to withdraw the amount okay and i will run this uh, code in uh, debug mode so that they will understand uh, clearly so first what we are trying to do is we are trying to request uh, uh, 475 rupees we are trying to withdraw 475 rupees from the atm so it will uh, call atm withdraw method and i am going inside the atm withdraw method so it will call the uh, dispatch rupees method of the first handler which is under rupees handler and uh, 100 rupees handler will do some calculation and uh, it will uh, dispatch 400 rupees notes are dispatched so it dispatch 400 rupees 400 rupees notes okay it dispatched you can see here and uh, then uh, we are calculating the pending amount to be processed so pending amount is uh, 75 rupees right so 75 rupees uh, needs to be processed so it will call the next handler so next handler is 50 rupees handler right so it will call 50 rupees handler dispatch method so it will go to 50 rupees uh, handler uh, dispatch method so 50 rupees handler will do some calculation and uh, it will dispatch uh, 150 rupees uh, note okay and uh, then uh, it does some calculation and uh, identify uh, what is the pending amount the pending amount is 25 right so it will uh, send it to the next handler which is uh, 20 rupees handler so then 20 rupees handler will do some calculation and uh, dispatch uh, one 20 rupees note okay and then it does some calculation and uh, find the pending amount pending amount is 5 rupees so the 5 rupees uh, we need to process so it will send it to the 5 rupees handler okay then uh, 5 rupees handler will uh, do some calculation and uh, dispatch uh, uh, 5 rupees so you can see why one 5 rupees note is dispatched by the 5 rupees handler
so finally uh, what we have requested is 475 rupees and uh, the request is processed by all the receivers right so uh, the 100 rupees handler dispatched 400 rupees and 150 rupees note is dispatched by the 50 rupees handler 120 rupees note is dispatched by the 20 rupees handler 1 5 rupees note is dispatched by the 5 rupees handler then what we are trying to do is we are trying to withdraw 455 rupees so first 100 rupees handler dispatch 400 rupees note and 50 rupees handler dispatch 150 rupees note so total 450 uh, rupees has been dispatched so remaining 5 rupees is there right so it will send it to the next handler which is 20 rupees handler 20 rupees handler uh, cannot dispatch 5 rupees so 20 rupees handler will uh, send the request to the 5 rupees handler the 5 rupees handler will uh, dispatch 1 5 rupees note that's what you are seeing here so next we are trying to withdraw 5 20 rupees so 5 500 notes will be dispatched by the 100 rupees handler and uh, one uh, 20 rupees uh, note will be dispatched by the 20 rupees handler okay and this is the best example of uh, chain of responsibility design pattern uh, one or more receivers will handle the request and uh, i have put together all this sample code in my blog called ramjt you can visit this site and get the sample code and also you can get this uh, class diagram and other diagram from this uh, site okay and uh, this is about chain of responsibility design pattern implementation and thanks for watching bye